At the end of October, I was wondering what to do with the dogs for the upcoming holiday season. And then I heard, You won't won't have have to worry worry about about me for the holidays. It appeared to come from my 13-year-old dog, Nikki, who was sitting next to me on the couch. I turned to look at her in total disbelief. What do you mean? I asked. First off, I was not expecting my dog to talk to me like that. Second, she was in perfect health. Why would she say that? But she did not give me an answer. A couple weeks later, we celebrated Gigi's first birthday. We had a cute little ceremony, posed for Facebook photos, and as the girls devoured their snacks, I heard, Oh good. I'm so glad she's made it. Now it's time for me to go. My job is done. It took my breath away. What? Why was I hearing that? It was in Nikki's voice again. She was completely healthy and happy. A sense of dread began to creep in. The next morning, I got out of bed as usual, expecting to hear the familiar click-click as Nikki jumped down behind me. Instead, I heard a sprawling thud. I turned to find Nikki, spread eagle on the floor next to the bed. I leaped to her side, helped her up, and checked her out. She seemed to be okay, but she really wasn't. Over the next couple of days, she gradually lost all strength and ability to stand. It was so sad. I heard that voice in my head again. This This is it. it. She She will will not last last long. I knew what this meant, and a sense of dread fell upon me again. The shift was coming. A chapter was closing. I could feel it. Nikki was preparing her exit, just like she said. The tears welled up in my eyes and I noticed the familiar clutch in my throat. I felt powerless to help her and powerless to protect myself from the impending pain. I snuggled up to her and hugged her as tightly as I could. I wasn't ready to let her go. My heart began to strain as it had so many times before for all those that had passed before her. I knew our time was drawing to a close. I could feel it. She seemed content and happy, like she knew that all was well. It would be an easy transition for her to just be released from this old body that had worn out its welcome. I hung on to the precious seconds, the precious memories, the feel of her coat in my hands, and the smell of her in my nose. I hoped that I could hold on to the sound of her bark and the happy wag of her tail. I tried to memorize it all so I would never forget. It was time to say our goodbyes. She had waited as long as she could. Thirteen and a half years is a full life for a Malinois. She had done her job, succeeded in her mission. She had secured and trained her replacement. She ensured that I was in good hands and that my path was on track. It was time. I was so thankful that I got to spoil her rotten and love her as hard as I could. I was so thankful for all the gifts that she had given me all the insight, intuition, and the spiritual growth that she had led me to. And just three days after Gigi's birthday, Nikki was gone, just as she had told me. She was ready to go, and so she went quickly. We were all very sad, but we were also very thankful. We were so thankful that we had Gigi to hold our hearts. Nikki was a very special soul that has been with me before. She continues to speak to me today as I write about her story. She has much to share with you and with humanity. You can hear more from her spirit guide, Oyagan, by following us. I will reveal the entire story of the core four spirit guides in my new book, Canine Spirit Guides, which will be released at the end of this year, 2022. So if you like this story and you want to hear more, please like, share, and follow. Thank you so much for listening.